Now, the, um, the first game that we play is called Authors. In this, the four contestants make up a story, but each using the style of a favourite author they've come along with. So you'd like to step down, and uh, as you come down, Mike, uh, which author have you gone for? Lewis and Clark, uh, two famous American explorers. All oh, right, right. Yes, very, very popular authors. Especially, especially in England. We never read anything else. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and Mark Cohen, who have you gone for? Mario Puzzo. Mario Puzzo. Yes, we're familiar with him. He wrote The Godfather, didn't he? <laughs> Godfather 2 and Rocky 9, all that sort of stuff. Uh, uh, <laughs> Greg Proops. Uh, Millie the White House Dog. Is that, is that a real author? Yeah, it's yeah. Barbara Bush's dog. And oh, she's right. a darn fine writer. I thought... I, oh, yeah. I thought he was called Dan Quayle, but never mind. And uh, jo John, oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, okay. Welcome to America, Clive. <laughs> no, no, very, very respected figure. Now, John, uh, John Sessions. I'm going to do the king of the tight pants, Ernest Hemingway. Ernest Hemingway. All oh, right, sir. Ooh, proper author. Uh, no, I don't think he's going to compete with Millie the White House dog. Uh, 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 so now, can somebody here suggest a title for this story for them to tell? <laughs> Macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese. Well, that's okay. That's a. I think a bit of plot on that. So. Anyone got any for another element for this story? She's got to have more. Okay. She's got to have more macaroni and cheese. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, this, um, this, this is what we came to America for. Uh, so, uh, away you go. <laughs> I think that was why you came. Away you go, Mike. Colonel Meriwether Lewis and I had stocked up on provisions near the Osage River for a perilous and trepidation-filled journey across the wide America. Pemmican, beef jerky, and assorted niblets were stuffed into our backpacks. But one thing that the Indian priestess, Hanagohaganigawaga, really liked was... The Indian priestess was sleeping in her bed when all of a sudden Salazzo came and he had the head of a horse, but the horse was made out of chocolate. <laughs> he had a horse's head, and he also had a horse's ass. It was Dan Quayle. The river went up, and then it went round a bit for an inch or so, and then it went down again. Mick looked at the river and checked out the macaroni cheese that was floating down towards him, and the trout, some real fine bitch that she was, with her kagida, that was swimming towards him. Nick figured out that the trees down along the bend were about three inches to the left of where they were the day before, and the water was about five inches deeper. But then Hemingway remembered he got something in his pants, and he had to go home and fill it. Strip off your breechcloth, white boy, and show me what makes America so great, she cried. <laughs> they continued to make mad, passionate love. <laughs> Doggy style. <laughs> Come on, Ernest. Nick looked at the dog doing a doggy style with a trout by the water. It was good. It reminded him of Spain and even Robert Jordan, even Gary Cooper. But then again, he was unmasculine. Okay, thank you very much. We'll end it there. Thank you. That's all that's over. Okay. Right. Okay, uh, um, uh, I'll, 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 give, I'll, give you, I'll give you ten points each for that. So I'd give you more if you'd make a macaroni cheese more often, but uh, there it is. 